Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. If you are new, welcome. I'm glad to have you here today. If you like what you see, just hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so that you'll know when I put new videos out. And if you're a returning subscriber, <coughs> welcome back. I'm always happy to have you back in my kitchen. So, yes, I am drinking ginger ale again this morning. It's going on 11 o'clock in the morning, and I just now got out of bed. So, luckily, there's no, not too much going on today. Um, my pastor's coming out at some time to, so so that we could can do communion together. Um, been a long time since I've, I've had communion, and I realized I'm, I really missed it, so so he's coming out at some point, and I think, think that's all I got going on. Um, I will be cooking a meal today, which I'll put in this, in with this video. I'm not sure what I'm making yet, it'll depend on if I... How much energy I get after I get woke up here. I haven't given much thought of what I've fixing yet. But there will be a cooking video in here at some point. It, it just... can't believe I slept that long. I got into bed before 10 o'clock. I watched a couple of short videos and I was I was out so and then to sleep till almost eleven is not normal for me. I, I do wanna thank everyone for all the kind words on my last video. The Kroger gift cards really does help. It helps a lot. I actually may do another order and get some extra snacks type stuff and some protein bars because it does look like we are getting some kind of a storm Tuesday or Wednesday. They don't know exactly what is hitting us yet, but they're fairly confident that something's coming. So I watch Mitch West weather quite often. Uh, he he's not one to promote anything until it looks like it's a for certain thing, and and he talked about it quite in depth depth last night. So it does sound like we are getting hit by something. So I may go ahead and do a second order and just get some snacks type things. Uh, I, uh, maybe some protein bars. I actually need protein bars anyway. And I was thinking about doing like an Ensure or Boost type drink. Just for days that I don't feel like eating anything, I can could drink a shake and at least get something in my system. So I might get some of those as well. I am am really glad that I got my water stocked back up so I don't have to worry about water or drinks. So yeah, I may use one of my other gift certificates and get some hurricane supplies in. I think that's it for right now. I just gotta get woke up here. Get my computer things done. Figure out what I'm going to eat for today. I do have to get my dishwasher emptied and the sink cleaned out. And then fix a meal. I think that's the three things I'm going to work on for today. So that's it for right now. I'll catch you guys later. Well, hello again, everyone. I did get... Two of my goals done for today. Taking a break right now before getting to my dinner or late lunch, whatever it turns out to be. But I got the dishwasher emptied. 
the sink cleaned out and my my countertop unloaded and wiped down ready to start cooking when I'm when I'm rested and up to it. So so two of my biggest goals for today is done. I'm so glad to have my sink cleaned out. It that's piled up the last couple of days that I was feeling too sick to worry about the dishwasher and cleaning the sink out. So I got all of that done. And I think I decided for my meal for today, I am doing a really quick and easy chicken pot pie. I have, I'm going to be using rotisserie chicken. It's already pulled and shredded, ready to go. So that part's done. And I'm just going to make it really simple and I'm going to, I will put the filling into two separate dishes and put the crust on the top so that way when I want it again, all I have to do is, is bake it. So I think, think that's what we're doing for today is an easy chicken pot pie. So I will bring you guys all back. Once I get rested up and I'm ready to cook. Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the kitchen. We are about ready to make our supper for tonight. I'm doing a really quick, easy version of chicken pot pie. So, for my new viewers, I tend to make a lot of things up as I go so and this is going to be one of those recipes it's going to be quick it's going to be simple and I forgot to get one of my ingredients out uh, let me see where it went to um, I am going to be using a can of biscuits for my my crust. Good heavens, I'm just dropping everything. I have uh, some already diced chicken to make things easier. And I'm going to need some sour cream. So, now that we got our, our ingredients together. Oh, and I'm also doing half a can of cream of chicken soup and half can of cream of mushroom soup and a little pack of, of instant potatoes. So let's get into the kitchen and let's get cooking. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start on our crust and I am just using these um, instant baby reds because that's what I had out on my table and I didn't feel like going to grab anymore. So while we're getting this around, let me know in the comments what you think of, of my camera angles with my new tripod because I got this with one of my Amazon certificates so the other one was, it was just too much. I did not feel like even doing any kind of cooking videos because it was just really bad. It was hard. And let me move this up just a little bit. And let me get this set here. And let's see. Oh, good heavens. I'm sorry, guys. Let me get this adjusted a little bit better. And let me move this down. And let me see. Oh, this is... Hopefully I got it. And I'm thinking, 
leads up just a little bit higher. Okay. And unfortunately, guys, I think it's as good as I can get it. So I think you guys can at least see that. And I'm going to mix my potatoes up with just enough water to make them a little on the thick side because, like I said, we want that for our crust. And this is just cold water. those baby reds with the skins on so so that's what the little darker pieces that you're seeing that's just the potato skins all right i think that's good now before i put the potatoes in the dish and i'll move these for just a second so i can reach our dishes I'm doing these in two smaller dishes and I'm just going to spritz these with some oil. This is just a regular vegetable oil. And I know it's the kind that's bad for you, but it's what I got, so I'm using it. And then I'm just going to divide these up into my two dishes. So I'm going to do about half in that one and about about half in this one maybe a little more in this one and a little more in this one try to Oh, I am sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened. Just all of a sudden, the um, camera, my phone went flying. So I'm just going to take my hands and press this down into a really nice crust. It's really hard for me to do because my fingers are cramping really bad. Partly, I think, from my calcium being low and partly because I did read that was a sign with end-stage kidney diseases is muscle and finger cramping. So, just bear with me while I get this going here. And see, we got a nice potato crust on there. And I'm going to do the same with my second dish. I think you guys will be amazed at how easy this is going to come together. Except for when your camera goes flying off of the tripod. But hopefully I got it back on there. Just keep in mind that this is the very first time of me using this, this new tripod. So let me know in the comments if you're liking it or not. It's, so far it seems to be doing well. Let me rinse my hands off here. Alright. Dry my hands. I'm I'm just gonna use the same bowl because it's all going in the same dish in, in the same pan anyway, so and it's just me eating it. So I'm gonna get our soups open. 
if I can. I, I hate these pop top cans. I really do. Alright, let me grab a spoon so I can try to get this in up here. Oh, good heavens. There, I think I got it. Keep your fingers crossed that I can open this without pulling the tab off. And I did. And open the cream of mushroom soup. Keep your fingers crossed again. And they're both open. So now I'm just I'm just using half of each can. And I'll save the other half for another recipe. It's all right that I'm using the same spoon for this can because they're going to be combined in another recipe anyway. All right, got that done. Let me mix my spoon off now so I can use it for the sour cream. Because I really don't want cream of soups in my sour cream. That would not be okay. Alright. There we go. I hope that's better. So now I'm going to add maybe... Half a cup of sour cream. Mm. That is good sour cream. So remember, I'm not making enough to feed an army. I'm just making enough to get two dishes out of, hopefully. And I'm just stirring this all together. And I'm going to add about, uh, not, maybe not quite half of this bag of chicken. This was a rotisserie chicken that my sister brought out to me that needs to be used up. So I'm just going to mix this in. And that, that looks like a nice amount of chicken. All right, we are doing good. I told you this wasn't going to take no time at all. And I'm just going to fold the chicken into our mixture. And I'm not even going to salt this because I have the cream of soups in here and the sour cream. So I'm just not going to add any. Plus our instant potatoes have salt in them as well. So I think we are fine on salt. This is a nice thick filling. And I need to grab my pepper, so hold on just a second. Well, I grab my pepper and I think I'm going to add some dried onions to mine. I'm just going to sprinkle some pepper in here. And dump some dried onion in there. As much or as little as you want. that a good mix to mix those onions and the pepper in there. Okay, I think that's good. So now we're going to just divide this between our two dishes. We want a nice layer of filling in here. And if you want, when you make this, you can add some mixed vegetables. You could add 
maybe some green beans in here. You can add celery if you wanted. You can add just about anything to it. But as you guys know, I have to be very careful with my veggie intake. So there is dish number one and dish number two. Just gonna dump this really evenly into our dish and just spread that filling out. Scrape all of this goodness out of the bowl that I can. And there we go. in here. There we have it. Two bowls of chicken pot pie. And we're not, not done just yet. We get the sour cream in the fridge. And let me grab my rolling pin. Almost cooked on my rolling pin. Alright. So now we are going to work on our crust. So we're back to our good friend, a can of refrigerated biscuits. These are just the, the jumbo flaky layer biscuits. They're the Winn-Dixie brand. Let me get these open. Oop, that was easy. I'm going to start with a biscuit and see how we do. And I'm just going to flatten that out. And we're going to just start whirling. Actually, I think I'm going to spritz it a little just to keep it from sticking because I don't want to drag my flour out for this. And we're just going to get a nice good sized circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. this off of the counter and we're just going to pull and stretch this and lay one like that And now we're going to do the other one so that we can finish the top. Spritz it a little. just start pulling it and stretching it a little, even more. Wait, my fingers are cramping big time. And then we're going to take our dish and lay it just, just like that. And there is dish number one and dish number two. Now I'm doing two dishes because one I'm going to put in the refrigerator so that later this week when 
I, if I happen to not be feeling good and I want something to eat, I can just pull that out and have a nice, nice hot lunch. All I have to do is put it in the oven. That's going to help me out a whole lot. All right. So we're just going to start working this biscuit. Give it a little spritz. dish out of the way. See how easy this is coming together and really hardly any mess, very little plus. I'm even sitting in my wheelchair while I do this. That's how easy it is. So we're just going to pull this a little bit, stretch it out a little bit more. going to take our second dish and do the same thing. We're just going to lay this right over the top. And one more biscuit. And the rest of the biscuits I will put into a Ziploc bag and use for something else later on. So I'm just starting to flatten this out some. Get my spritzer. It doesn't take much oil on the top, just a little bit. Especially once you've done a few biscuits because your rolling pin will have the oil on it. So I probably didn't even even really need to spritz that one. I'm not the best at rolling things out and keeping their shape, but that's okay. We we want we're going for a rustic look. It doesn't it have to be picture perfect. It just has to taste good. Now I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit more. And Lay this over the top, just like that. This dish will get some plastic wrap on it and will go in the refrigerator. I might even after it burns up and gets cold, I might even just pop it in the freezer. Wash the oil off of my hands. Now, I am going to prick the top of our crust here. Just like this. All right. And we are going to bake it according to the biscuit directions, maybe a little bit longer. We'll have to see. Um, it says to bake at 3.350 for about 16 minutes. Well, I'll check it and then I'll, I'll see if we need to go longer, I'll, I'll have it go 20 minutes. But that's it. Just like this, we're going to have chicken pot pie in about 20 minutes. So, I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to eat. And we are back. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. That looks beautiful. It is bubbly and golden brown and hear that it is cooked all the way through I am hungry so let's give let me spin you around and let's give this a taste all right 
I actually think I'm using a spoon for this. So I got my spoon. And I know this dish is really hot, so I'm putting my oven glove on so I don't burn my hand. And I got my yummy looking pot pie here. I actually think I'm going to put it on a plate so I can hold it easier. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so hungry. This looks amazing. Look at that. Look at that pipe. I'm going to cool this down because it is hot. you guys mm. this tastes just like a homemade chicken pot pie that you, you labored over for hours but you saw this took less than 30 minutes to have together Mm. I got that nice potato crust, you guys. Mm. I'm going to enjoy this meal a lot. So, I'm going to drop the spoon and comes a happy dance. Woo! That is so good. It's got the richness from the cream of soups and the sour cream. It's just amazing. Plus I have a dish in the refrigerator to warm up for another day. All I have to do is stick it in, in the oven. I did put that on a cookie sheet in the oven while it baked just in case it ran over, but it didn't. So I am so going to enjoy this meal. I'm going to put my feet up, maybe put a good movie on, and just relax. If I've been a little worn out today for some reason, I mostly rested. I, I did have an unexpected blessing today. I, gentleman from church came over and is replacing the one of the grab bars in my bathroom by the shower because the one that was there came loose and I was really afraid to hold on to it to to grab it to get out of the shower so he's he's replacing that for me so that that was a very unexpected blessing that I'm really grateful for so you guys have to make this chicken pot pie. It is so good. And like I said, you could put whatever veggies you want in it and and make it your own. But it was very easy. It's very good. I'm glad I'm going to have a, a good hot meal tonight. And I did get the three things done today that I wanted to get done. So I, I am thrilled with that. My sink is cleaned out even from making dinner is all cleaned out because we really didn't have that many dishes. My counter is all cleaned off and uh, the the dishwasher is, is emptied and loaded back up again. So that, that was the main things that I wanted to get done and, and dinner cooked. So I did pretty good today. I deserve to sit and relax tonight. So I hope you all have are having a fantastic weekend. We are getting a storm of some kind. I'm actually thinking of doing another Kroger order and getting some hurricane snacks and some protein bars and some type of Ensure or Boost drink. And I, I need the protein bars and the drinks anyway, just for days that I don't feel like I can eat anything, I could grab one of those and know that I'm still getting some nutrients in. So keep an eye on the tropics, all of, all of the viewers who are in Florida, keep, keep your 
eyes and ears peeled on the news and just everyone be prepared and stay safe. So I will end this by saying be safe, be happy, be blessed, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!